Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody posted on Facebook last night how to change the color of one or two or more letters of text, if that's what I'm understanding. So here I have some text, and there's a couple ways you could do that. If you wanted to, you could grab the text tool and just highlight whatever word you want to change color to and then change that color. Oop, I didn't work. Just grab your text tool, highlight that, and while you've got it highlighted, change it to blue. You could do that for one part of the word. You could do it for one letter. You just need to highlight it and back it up, or probably the easiest way to do it, let's just back up here, would be to grab that in Control K and break the words apart and then you could have each individual word a different color very easily and if you needed to do it either further you can go control K again and it'll break that word up into different uh, so you could do individual colors and I'm not for sure if that's what the person was even asking because they said something about let's let's take this one and Let's take this one. I've got it all broken together. Let's make all these letters white. Can't see them. Bring them up here and you can see them. So I'm not sure if that's what they're asking. But if you bring in the yellow box, and you've got to be careful. I don't know. If, I can't imagine somebody wanting to engrave something that was white. I would want nothing there. Because some, some uh, even though I'm using RGB, some lasers, some colors of white will engrave, especially if it's on something really light piano finish that you can't just sand off. So another way to do that would be to take, I don't like that that's all one deal, but I've already broken it apart, and put no fill in a red hairline around it, and then put it into a separate box. Let's just make a box, a rectangle. Let's take our text and put it in there. Let's zoom in here. Let's take our Smart Fill tool and fill that in. And then just go back in and fill in the individual inside of the letter. Now you have a true no color font. As you can see, you can see right through it because the yellow background, it's looking through it. So that would be the, this is called reverse engraving if you're, if she's engraving it or they are, I shouldn't have said she because I didn't look at who actually sent it. But then you would just grab it and left click no fill or no outline and you would have a and see how it's actually part of the black because if you move it but this way you have a transparent color that will not uh, engrave or not print I would think if it, you're doing this for printing it's the same thing I did here these are individual colors um, in vector vector lines so you would make sure you'd want to remove these lines and let's just go here and go left click no outline and then you have no outline anyway I'm really hoping this is what they were asking because this is easy and um, different colors of the same word anyway I hope that helped a little bit thank you for watching